This podcast encourages and empowers you to create your own unique real story, develop your own unique real statement, and discover your own unique real self. The power is yours. Good night, good night, Hal Blackman. How are you doing on this wonderful, beautiful night? I'm doing very, very well. Thank you. That's and how are you? I'm excellent. Thanks for asking. I'm, I'm pretty well. I'm pretty well, my friend. What part of the world are you in right now? I'm in I'm near the city of Cincinnati, state of Ohio, in the USA. All right. What does the temperature look like now? It's about 38 degrees and raining. All right. All right. Well, my friend, do tell Where are you? Me. I'm in Trinidad, and I was about to offer you an email that I do save in my draft inbox. Uh, it's Caribbean Sunshine. Would you like me to send that your way? Oh, yes, please. Can always use some Caribbean Sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> well, how do tell us which of your talents is responsible for us connecting at this specific time in history? I have a, a gift. I'm very curious. I want to figure things out. I'm able to look at things differently. And I've figured out how to help people restore their bodies and get out of pain. And it's such a terrible pain and drug problem in our country and in the world. This is a good time to learn how to do things differently and share this knowledge. I totally agree. I think there are people that are listening that want to know immediately where can they connect with you. Uh, the easiest place is our website, www.blatmanhealthandwellness.com, all spelled out. All right, so blatmanhealthandwellness.com. Did I get There'll that correct? There'll be email address. You did. You okay. did. We have a Facebook page, Instagram, email, and a newsletter and lots of information to read. So what, what, where did this uh, tone of voice come from? This no nonsense, I'm fed up of what's going on. Where did that come from? When I look around and see things that don't work and things that don't make sense, it, it really um, sparks me to try and figure it out, especially if it's a topic I'm really interested in. And this topic of pain I found really helps people and it's just such a pleasure to help people restore and, and watch the the lights and the eyes come back on and the misery and the pain go away. And it, it, I'm just so blessed to be able to do that. Hmm. So what does the process look like? Is it that I need to be there physically or can this be done virtually? I wrote a book called Winner's Guide to Pain Relief that describes a lot of it. But a lot of our pain comes from our injuries and a lot of these injuries are undetectable by standard medical testing, we have to learn how to touch people and be able to tell by the texture of the fascia that holds them together where it's tied in a knot or where it holds them together and attaches to them and it's injured because they've pulled it loose by tearing the tendon or spraining the ligament. And if you get these injuries to heal, it doesn't matter how long you've had the pain, you'll watch that pain go away as fast as you do that. And we're taught around the world that once you have pain for three to six months, it's never going to go away. Mm -hmm. And that's not the way our biology works. Most pain in most people can be made a whole lot better and even be made to go away. We can grow new cartilage and joints. We can restore an injured ligament. We can grow a new rotator cuff tendon if there's a remnant left behind for our body to shape itself on. There's so much we can do. The medicine of tomorrow is here today, and people don't have to suffer and just accept its old age and its arthritis. Hmm. That's amazing, it's hard, Hal. Wow. It's hard to believe that the pain doesn't really come from where you feel it and your headache doesn't come from your head. But how many people do you know have had their knee replaced and the knee still hurts and there's no knee there? Hmm. Yeah, definitely. Many people, my friend. Many people. So, where did the insight come from for this? I started in orthopedic surgery and realized as we're doing this that people are coming to us for pain and all we have is Motrin and ibuprofen and surgery and that's not working. And I ended up reading something by Dr. Janet Travell, who was one of President Kennedy uh, physicians in the White House that kept him in business from his lower back pain. And I got to read some of her works and I started to do what she described in the articles and lo and behold, it worked. Mm -hmm. And people were able to get better from things I could never understand why it didn't work before. And then I was able to actually meet her, be mentored by her, learn a tremendous about, and then evolve the work into what we've been able to do today. Mm -hmm. 
That's amazing. All right, tell me one other thing that you've done consistently over the last three years, please. Um, stay in, stay out of my comfort zone. Hmm. How does that make I, you feel? Um, it makes me feel uncomfortable, but I'm getting used to the solid state of discomfort, hmm. and I realize it helps me um, grow in my own self. It helps me get better in the things that I need to to do better, both personally and professionally. And um, I've learned that that's really where I want to spend my time is mostly out of my comfort zone and doing things that help stretch me. Why would you suggest other people do that? Step out of their comfort zone? I certainly suggest that. If if you stay where you're comfortable, you keep doing what you did. Hmm. And if you don't like doing what you did, it's not comfortable to change. And sometimes change is really hard and there's a lot of things to learn, but um, it's wonderful to, to be in that position and to, to just Get up and, and do it every day and find out at the end of the day you're really happy you did. Hmm. Love it. Amazing audience. Again, you're hearing it live from Hal Blattman. You can connect with him at blattmanhealthandwellness.com. He's got some amazing things going on there. Some amazing things. Hal, let's switch gears for a moment. Now let me invite you into my time machine that is surrounded with beautiful, warm, blue Caribbean water. Hal, what is your earliest childhood memory? My third birthday. Tell me more, please. Um, I remember that for my third birthday, I got a bright red tricycle. Mm -hmm. And it was brand new and it was shiny. And I just remember all the excitement and how wonderful it is. I remember what my street and outside looked like when my parents helped carry it down the steps so I could ride it outside. I remember my brother riding it around in our living room. Mm -hmm. That's the earliest memory that I that I have. Why do you think this memory is so clear? You know, it was such a special day, and I've always loved birthdays, and birthdays were always made to be special for me. And I even like waking up every day thinking like it is my birthday, like what wonderful things am I going to see today? And what presents are going to come my way? And it's not always a, a present like everybody would think of. Sometimes the gift is a gift of you need to do something better or you need to grow in this direction. And it's not pleasant and it's not easy, but it's still a gift that helps you in your life. And then sometimes the gift is knowing that, that I'll be on this podcast or being invited to give a talk for a national conference. Mm. Waking up like that every day helps keep the world um, in a really nice place of wonder, which is, I, I really enjoy. Can I offer an interpretation to the thought picture you created in my mind of that memory? I would love to hear. Oh, I love the fact that you were given the tools to accomplish what was necessary by moving you out of your comfort zone, which is riding. I mean, leave the bike there, it does nothing. Get on the bike, start to pedal, and then you can get from one place to another. But I love the red and what for me it represents, which is the passion, the love for what you are doing even now by helping others move from where they are. To not stay stagnant, but to get up and ride off in what they love to do. I love it. I really do. What a great image, especially looking at the water and hearing the waves and being down in the Caribbean. I love that. <laughs> if we fast forward to when you were 12 years old, what was your favorite song? When You Wish Upon a Star. Hmm, that's beautiful. Love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, my friend, where well, we've arrived at our destination. But before we get off of this time machine, there's a small declaration form. So it's yes or no. We're going to move pretty quickly. Are you ready? I'm ready. How have you chosen someone to pass on your skills to? My students. Are you married? Whoever has the passion to learn. Yes, I am. Do you believe in God? I'm very spiritual. Do you have an inner circle of friends? Of course I do. Do you watch TV for more than three hours a day? Absolutely not. How about three hours a week? Maybe. What about screen time? The phone and the computer, is it more than eight or less than eight hours a day? Some days it's more than eight and some days it's less than eight. Mm, Hal, if you had to share with us your own unique real statement, a statement that represents who you are, Hal Blattman, what would you say that is? 
don't accept current beliefs if they don't work. Go out and find your own answers and find something that does work. Love it, Dr. Hal. This was such a great pleasure. Before you leave, is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience? How wonderful it is to, to speak to you. I, I love your accent. It's been such a pleasure to listen to. And I, I really like what you do with this podcast. Thank you very that. much. You are welcome, my friend. Thanks for connecting. Uh, it's really intriguing to me that when you stepped out, that you actually attracted that same person that you were intrigued by, Janet Travel, right? And it's intriguing yes. that tonight that we have the opportunity to have this conversation. So I'm honored and thankful as well. And people should should look for ways out of this problem of pain. They do not, in most cases, have to endure. I believe, I believe, I believe. Dr. Blattman, thank you for being on What is Inspired by 12-Minute Convos with Angel Jones. This segment has been brought to you by Amazel Enterprise.